Hi, uh, I'm Malcolm Lambert, the uh, current captain, and it's my privilege to be the captain in our 125th year. And uh, that obviously is uh, something we're going to be celebrating throughout the year. July the 4th at the Barovian Hall, we've got the Summer Ball. We're all going to be dressed up and uh, dancing the night away. We might well be playing a few holes, some hickory um, sticks. I'm borrowing those from Roy Moore, who is well known to golfers on the island. Uh, my memories only go back to 2005, which is when I joined the club, having uh, come across from um, working in London. And I remember very, very well a balmy summer's evening in June when I played the course, flat, calm, beautiful, got to the 16th, 17th, 18th, and I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. I thought, I've got to join this golf club. Joined it, and on the Saturday, it absolutely poured with rain, horizontal. I got out to the 8th like a drowned rat, and they said, Malcolm, you have to hit the ball out towards the sea because if you don't, you'll be in trouble. So I thought, no, I aim at the edge of the eighth green, which I did, and I ended up in a bunker in the middle of the seventh. And I thought, what have I done? And I have to say that when you play this golf course, you just have to take in the wonderful conditions, the view, everything else, and just say to yourself, it doesn't matter if you play bad golf, where else do you get a view like this? Um, so really that's my earliest memory. But I remember the first time I turned up on a Thursday, we have uh, a members roll up, and everybody puts their ball in a hat, and they get drawn out, and you go out with the three other people you're drawn with. I had a brand new Pro V1, two black dots on it put it in there and it didn't come out but what did come out was a very scruffy <laughs> titleist with two black dots and so I made inquiries and this uh, very nice gentleman called Derek Lambert I said to him excuse me I think that's my golf ball he said no it's mine I always mark my ball like that and I said well my name's Malcolm Lambert and I always mark my ball like that. He said, you're joking. I said, I do. And I said, and I know it's mine. I said, because I've got its brother and sister in my bag, with the same numbers on it, brand new, just come out of the... Oh, he said. So that's how I met my namesake, Derek Lambert. We both played Titleist and we both marked our ball in the same way. Amazing. What a character and those Thursday morning games are brilliant, aren't they, for getting to know new members they work well? Absolutely, and I can remember I can remember uh, uh, meeting David and even then he was uh, the father of the golf course I would put it, the senior member, senior statesman and I think at that time you may well have been the president so at this point I think it would be right to hand over to David, David Bell. Oh yeah, David Bell. Take the mic, uh, well, Sporting Sham? Uh, yes, Sporting Sam's. <laughs> Okay, my name is uh, David Bell and I joined Castletown Golf Club in 1969. Uh, for 1970 actually, but I joined in 1969. Uh, so I've been a member here for 47 years or so and I've seen many, many changes, particularly in the ownership of the hotel and the different ideas that have come along, uh, some not so good and uh, some beneficial for the club. However, this golf course is a fantastic strip of golfing real estate. It's a gorgeous course, uh, and uh, when we have visitors, and we used to have many, plenty of visitors, they were in raptures about the quality of this golf course. It's a tis a, it's probably lacking a little bit of sand dunes and things like that that you get on the major golf links, but nevertheless, it's a brilliant piece of golfing uh, country. Um, there have been many uh, occasions going on here uh, and when I was captain of the club in 2006 uh, the Duke of York arrived here to do the, I think it was called the, um, it was a young uh, 
golfers in Europe um, under the age of 18, I think, um, and it was a fantastic experience. Uh, the, the one thing about introducing the the guests onto the tee, the Duke of York, and the of course the Governor of the Isle of Man, uh, we had a, a microphone set up with the loudspeakers, etc., and it was my job to uh, introduce our honoured guests and to get the show on the road. However, when I went to start the announcements, lo and behold, the loudspeaker gave up and uh, we couldn't get any response from it. So I had to diss the microphone and walk a bit closer to our honoured guests and bellow in their ears as to exactly what was going on. Fortunately, the weather was good uh, and it wasn't windy, which would have made things a little bit more difficult. However, watching those young golfers from all over Europe playing this course and really hammering it, so to speak, was a wonderful, wonderful experience. Um, I'm sorry we lost that, um, that competition. It was held here twice. Uh, why it didn't come back in, I'm not too sure. Uh, and the, we, had, um, we had courtesy cars. Now, I'm not sure whether they were Jaguars or Bentleys or what have you, but they, when the players were going out in, the, uh, in this competition, they were ferried down to the practice ground, and there they would hit off a bag of balls or whatever, and then they'd be brought back to the first tee for their tee-off time. However, on the practice pitch, acres and acres of space, one of the cars decided to reverse and back round to line himself with leaving the practice course and he reversed straight into one of the other courtesy cars, <laughs> which was a costly exercise, I can assure you. I think they were, they were either Jaguars or Bentleys, I'm not too sure. We can get some confirmation on that at some time or other. And, uh, of course, the hotel. The hotel was, uh, it was adored, the hotel, because it's, um, it's an old-fashioned style hotel, and it had that, that charm about it, which... Perhaps modern hotels don't particularly have. Um, and so th there were good times in the hotel. We used to come and stay on on the New Year's Eve and enjoy the festivities. Um, and so the, the hotel is sadly missed. Not in its present state, I might add. Uh, and there have been many things going on here. Far too many for me to recall. Um, but it's a fantastic course, fantastic club. And at the present time, we have fantastic owners. May I hand over to Jed?